Hey everyone and welcome back to the Cropless channel. Now in today's video you're joining me in the Maya because we're going to be taking a look at my camp. More specifically I really want to get some feedback on the build and also hear from anyone that has any sort of stylistic techniques for building in the Maya because this is my first Maya build. I started it quite a while ago and I've just been slowly adding things to it um, with like latest re releases from the Atomic Shop and stuff like that. So I'd be really interested in hearing some feedback on it, but also if there's anything that people spot in this video, I would love them to take it and incorporate it into their own camps because that's the whole point of, I think, building camps. It helps inspire you to create your own and you get to see some really cool things that you might not have thought of doing in your own camp. So yeah, without any further ado, let's have a look around. Okay, so first I thought I'd show you this angle of the house purely because it covers each section really well. And as you can see, I sort of went with a tiered approach. So there's lots of different sections that encompass one building. So to the left at the front, we've got all the workstations and my shop where you can get the plans from, etc. In the middle, I've used windows to give it this really nice open effect that lets a lot of natural light in. And then towards the back, we've got the main house build that I've used the Halloween camp build uh, for the bulk of that section. And then looking off to the right, I've added some lanterns into the grass area here, just because I thought it had some natural light in and it looks really cool at night. I know we've just sort of come into the morning now, so you might not get the effect, but I really like how it adds to the whole atmosphere of the camp. Okay, so moving down to the front of my house, as you can see, we've got all the crops. Now, originally I had these fenced in, but because everyone uses marsupial, there's literally no point. And to be honest, you can just sort of help yourself to whatever you want anyway. There's not really a plan here. I tend to just remove them and add them back whenever we have the weekly challenge of like planting crops. So there's not really a structure to it. Um, they're just sort of all placed around the front here. Moving on, we come to the other side of the house and here there isn't much. Um, I've got a collector on here that just, I needed a place for it. So I thought I'd put it on this little section here. So obviously that will get me all my junk and things like that. And then here is sort of like a little feature piece. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I put the Wavy Willards machine, uh, I merged it into a radio and then put the radio into the hot tub just to add this really cool effect. Um, you can't actually use the hot tub sadly while this is in there, but I just thought it was a nice little feature. It's almost as if it's sucking the water from the bottom of the hot tub and obviously blowing it out of the tentacles. So uh, yeah, something different, something a bit weird. And then behind it, I've just got some plants um, and some nice lighting effects that shines up. Okay then, so you may be wondering how I power this whole house, and I've put a Nuka-Cola truck behind it. My idea was that it's sort of been discovered and it's just been wrecked down here below, and someone's built the house behind it and drawn the power from this. That was the plan that I sort of went for. I think it looks okay. I might come up with something different in the future just to maybe fit in more with the build, but for now, I think this is fine. It's hidden behind the back of the house, and uh, it does the job. Okay, yeah, and then moving around to the right side of the house, this is sort of an eating area um, and also my cooking stations out here. We've got the Brahmin grill there um, there's a nice little table and chairs and a couple of plants and uh, yeah, moving around, this is how you get up into the house. This is sort of the front entrance. I've got my uh, power station, power armor station there and my special thing. Again, I've just put them there. I could probably move them, put the special thing into a bit more of a suitable place, but I think it's fine there. So uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's move into the house. So this is, like I said, the Halloween camp kit, and I really like the sort of overgrown brambles and things like that that grow up from the side of the windows. I think it's a really nice touch, and the shutters as well. I think it really makes the style of the windows. And what I've done is I've put some lights at the top, just again to add to the whole atmosphere of the house. And the warm lights, I think, work really well rather than using the really bright white lights. Okay then, so coming into the house, we've got the redwood floors. And this main room, I really want to do some more stuff to it. I think there's a lot more that I can add in here. I'm just struggling a little bit for inspiration and also what to use because I don't really want to have a lot of repeated things in my house build. Um, so if you've got any suggestions for this main room, I'd really appreciate it, but I'll take you over some of the key points. So obviously we've got to have the Mega Sloth rug. I love the Mega Sloths. I think they look really cool. The first uh, sort of merging thing I have in this room is that I glitched the radiation dummy inside of a jukebox and I think the lighting and the glowing effect just look really cool it's just something different and I've not really seen that before so that was an idea um, that I came up with and I thought I'd stick in this room next again we have some more merging this is the glowing map and what I did was I took a mounted uh, glowing one and glitched that through the wall using a flamethrower and then put the frame over it so it looks like it's bursting out of this glowing wall which I just thought looked really cool as well just a nice little bobblehead stand. And this is the main room and I really, really like this room. It's probably my favorite, just purely because of 
how green it looks, the plants and things like that, the animals. I think it all really encapsulates into a really nice main room and sort of like an outdoor cinema. Okay, so continuing on with the outdoor cinema theme, we've got this sort of Hollywood Walk of Fame floor here. And I just put the bear there. I don't know why. I think it just looked cool at the time with the beer steins. Maybe you can grab yourself a drink before coming to the outdoor cinema. And then as you can see, it is completely filled with sort of nature slash animals slash greenery. Um, just to make this feel like a really nice outdoor space, um, even though obviously it's enclosed like a greenhouse. Um, I've got the ghoul chairs, which I absolutely love. Um, again, I use the radiation dummy just more for the lighting, really. Um, there's the crow, the owl, and yeah, we've got the ducks on the hedge, which I just, I don't know, I just thought it looked funny. Pretty cool. Okay, so moving on back into the main section of the house, we've got this first room on the downstairs. And this is sort of like a, a TV room, like a living room, I guess you could say. So as you can see, uh, we've got a nice little sofa, we've got the aquarium TV that I've merged lower down into the desk, so it's not on its stand. It just looks like it's lying flat against the uh, desk there. And then we've got the vintage water cooler, some nice cool posters, um, the Nuka-Cola barrel seat, I think that is, and I've put some plushies on it. And then, as you can see, I've merged uh, Cappy from the uh, Nuka-Cola, Nuka-World stuff. And then underneath him, I put a candle in there, just so it looks like there's a lighting effect, which is really easy to do. Maybe I'll do a merging tutorial, but there are a bunch of other tutorials out there that if you want to do it now, you can check it out. But that's how I did that, if you were wondering. It's a nice little punch bowl. And then to the back of the room, we've just got this lamp here and the uh, train set. Okay, so coming back into the main section of the house, you can see the vanity mirror there just against the wall. And I've put this Arctos Farber fridge here. I'm probably going to move it. I just put it there because I couldn't think of anywhere else to put it. And like I said earlier, I'd really love to fill this space with something. I just can't think of anything yet. So if you've got any suggestions, please let me know. But coming out to the porch area, I've put two mounted Brahmin heads up here uh, with a sign saying food. So everyone knows where my cooking station is. Come out onto the porch. We've got a lot of banjo here that you can play. Uh, some plants. There's a Brahmin. Is that a Mothman? Okay, so apparently there's a moth just lurking in here. I hope he doesn't attack me. Can't believe I'm doing this, but we're going to have to kill this mothman. Is it going to be aggro or is he friendly? Oh, he's friendly. Hello, mate. How's it going? I've never seen a friendly one. Whoa. Oh, no, he's not friendly. I've annoyed him. Ow. I'm gonna die. What is going on? Is he dead? I don't know if he's dead. Okay, back to the video. Um, but yeah, we've got the Brahmin grill, nice little seating area, uh, a grafting monster, mounted foot, I think that is. And uh, yeah, this little cryptid monster mobile, which I just thought looked really cool. It's a nice little feature to have. Okay, so going upstairs, this is where it sort of gets a bit random. So I've just filled this with a, a bunch of random stuff because I hate having bare walls and not having anything on them. So I've put some paintings, put some posters here. We've got a cuckoo clock. I was hoping it would go off in time for when I came here, but obviously not. <laughs> it's just the way it is. We've got some signs on the wall and then some more paintings here and the bear pelt rug on the floor. Um, and also, I can't find anything that will fit between this gap underneath the stairs and the wall. Uh, so hopefully something will come out soon that I can fill that gap with. Coming up, the first room we have, I call this Shrek's toilet because of the door. But we've got the toilet, bathroom, whatever you want to call it. It's got the men and women signs, some stuff there coming in. We've got a nice little shower with the shower curtain. Nice clean sink, some signs. Uh, and then we've got a toilet and an applause sign, because why not? Who doesn't want to celebrate when they've taken a dump? Okay, so turning around, we've got a mounted Mothman there. And what I've done is I've used the petrol pump lights, sort of like antlers off the side of him, or like antennas. I just thought it was a nice little feature, and I think it lights up the Mothman well. The contrast is really nice against the wallpaper. Coming over here, uh, there's a Brother of the Steel sign that I've used to cover up the sort of window, the circular window, purely because I wanted this room to be nice and dark. Uh, it doesn't help that the door's open. But coming over to the right, if we open this door up, this is like the office room. So as you can see, we've got some science posters, uh, the Mothman lampshade up there. We've got some posters, 
got a nice little kiddies clock. I don't know why that's there. I don't know why I picked that one, but it's there. Uh, like I said, a little desk area with the typewriter. And then we've got this. I think that's the clean filing cabinet um, that acts as a stash box. I'm not sure if everyone has that. I think it was Atomic Shop purchase, but I might be wrong. Um, so you might be able to get that. But yeah, so that was that's what I picked for that. And that's the office room, nice and simple. Coming back out, I think we'll go outside. So here we have the uh, Praise the Mothman sort of statue here, the altar lit out. And I just thought it looked cool as like a piece outside because I was struggling to think of what to put on the balcony, apart from chairs and a radio. So we've got that here with some ashtrays and things like that. I wasn't talking to you, mate. Go away. Uh, so yeah, that's just like a nice little outside feature. Okay, so coming towards the final room in the house, we have the bedroom. Let's have a look in here. So I've sort of gone with a Nuka Cola theme with this room, but not entirely. So we've got some Nuka Cola theme stuff, nice little wall mount there, the Nuka Cola thermometer, some posters. I couldn't pick a bed, so I just decided on the Hunter's one, and I put some plushies down there. As you can see, there's another one there. And then we've got the Watoga mini statues on top of this desk. Looking up, we've got like a star feature wall. Um, and then, as you can see with the lighting here, I've used the latest studio lights off the uh, scoreboard. So I went for the red ones here, a couple of the high ones and the low ones. And then I also got the red disco ball, just to carry on with that red theme. I might change the colour sort of palette of this room because I don't really know if I'm 100% on it yet. But that's what I went for. Again, with the wallpapers, I can't remember what they're called. I think they're the contemporary ones. I might be wrong. And same with the carpets. I think they might be the contemporary carpets. And uh, yeah, if you're wondering how I've got wallpaper on both sides, um, again, it's a sort of a build technique. It's kind of a glitch, but I might do a video on that in the future, maybe alongside that merging one. But if not, again, I'm sure you can find it on YouTube currently. So yeah, everyone, that's my camp build. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope it gave you some inspiration maybe to build something in your camp. But also, like I said, I would love to hear your feedback um, for things that I can incorporate into my build. I would really, really appreciate it. But if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It means a massive amount to me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.